Ooh, come on, light. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about my weight loss journey. <laughs> so I started my weight loss journey so many times. The first video was probably like a year ago. Girl, girl, girl. It's been only recently that I've actually started being consistent and setting goals for myself. So, <laughs> or this video is gonna be about like how I, what I do, what I'm doing to lose weight. Okay, so number one is eating. I had to, the reason why it took me so long to get it together was because I couldn't eat right. So that was my issue forever. And I knew that was my issue because I love food. So I once I got that together, once I realized that I could eat, that I liked healthy food, then I was good. Probably been a month um, since I have actually made all of this progress with my body. <laughs> I started eating good. I only eat vegetables. I don't I'm not gonna say only. For my healthy for my healthy foods, all I eat is peppers, onions, broccoli, zucchini, squash, spinach for the most part. That's in my fridge all the time. Um only meats that I eat on a regular basis is chicken, um, salmon, and shrimp. I alternate those with the same vegetables all the time. So my diet is pretty boring. I do, um, I do switch it up sometimes. Like I'll eat a sweet potato or, um, I mean, that's pretty much all the switching up I do. Like, <laughs> I don't, when I make chicken, I don't have oils or um, sauce on my chicken. To cook with is Italian dressing or um, balsamic vinaigrette. That is all the seasoning that I need for anything. I will put that in the pan for literally anything and then just start cooking. So for my vegetables, and then I have to worry about putting like extra seasoning on my food. So that's what I cook with. Before I started working out, I just had to get my diet together because that's like 80%, I think they say 80% or 60% of losing weight is eating right. So I had to get that together. I had to get my mind right. To eat right <laughs> and I've been doing really good like I drink um, pretty much only water if I'm drinking anything else it's apple cider vinegar and grapefruit juice those things right there it's literally like a laxative or something but it like you can tell that it's burning the fat I don't know how I guess I can just see it all of my diet and stuff together before I actually went to the gym every day and started working out. So I seen a huge change before I even started working out. I do have cheat days quite often, <laughs> um, probably a little more often than I should, but on my cheat days, I don't go ham, you know? Like I'll still eat, like if I'm craving, I don't know, a donut, or some, or a McFlurry from McDonald's. Really my cheat days are about sweets. Like I have a sweet tooth. All of my teeth are sweet. Like I love sweets. So I don't, if I cheat, then it's on a donut or some cake or something like that. So it's not that I'm eating 
bad all day. I still eat my normal food. I just have a donut or some ice cream or something like that. So those are typically what my cheat days are. Or if I do get like a burger and fries, then that's just what I'm craving for that day. It won't be a burger, fries, donuts, ice cream. Like, you know, it's not all of that in one day. Um, but I will say my cheat days are, I'm gonna have to cut back on those. Yeah, so that's pretty much how my diet is going. That's the most important part. You can lose weight without working out if you eat right. I'm working out to to cut the fat like quicker. So it's gonna, I guess it works quicker when you work out and eat right. So that's why I'm working out too. But I think that I do right now is cardio and like leg workouts. So all of my weights are gonna be in my legs. I don't do weights. Well, sometimes I'll do weights in my arms. I'm still trying to get the hang of this, this workout thing, like what what works for me. Um, eventually, I guess I'll get a trainer. Sometimes I'll do weights in my arms, but not a lot, just because I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that cardio is going to burn everything. So that's what I'm working on. So far, if I go to the gym, I'll do the stair stepper and I will do like the, it's not the elliptical, but it's a little machine that's kind of like the elliptical. I don't know what it's called. I mean, it's the same concept, but the one that I get on is more geared towards legs. Like the arm part doesn't move, it's just the legs. Um, I'll do that and then I may, may get on the treadmill. Um, but what I've been loving lately, surprisingly, because I hate it being out and running, I will go to a local high school or my, I'll go home and go to my high school and run the track and do like the bleachers. I mean, it's rough, but you can like running, you can literally just feel it. You can feel where it's working. I haven't got to the point yet where I can just run all the way straight through. So I run like the straightaway and then I'll walk the curve. So as soon as I like stop to start to walk the curve, like I can just feel it in my core. I like being outside because my gym doesn't have a sauna and I need to sweat. I need to get these toxins out. So that is where I am. I don't, the last time I did my video, I was 200 pounds. Um, the last time I weighed myself was a few weeks ago and I was 197. So honestly, I don't know how much I weigh right now. If, if I've lost anything, I don't know. I can see it, but on the scale, it's different. So I honestly haven't been I haven't been pressed about weighing myself every week. Like I used to weigh myself every week and like see my progress before I, before I actually buckled down. So maybe like, like two months ago or three months ago, I had lost 11 pounds. Y'all looked exactly the same. I could not tell that I had lost 11 pounds. But I had weighed myself that time and I had only lost three pounds. I looked so different. So it, it isn't all about the scale. I've learned. I had to learn it the hard way because when I got on the scale that time, I was just like, three pounds? Really? I was pissed. <laughs> Cause I had been working hard, like three pounds. I had to learn the hard way that it's not all about the scale. So I don't weigh myself, partly because I don't have a scale and I'm not going to go buy one. <laughs> I only weigh myself when I'm at my mama's house and cause she already has a scale. That's is where I am currently. You guys literally compliment me every day. <laughs> like it's the it's the best feeling knowing that somebody actually can see your hard work because when I tell you it's dedication that I go and run outside. I hate absolutely hate running. But people notice, people have really been noticing and it's only literally been a month. So when I started this, I said, cause I would be done with school in December. I plan on moving 
shortly after that. So I gave myself six months to get my body and my skin right. And as you can see, like, I mean, my camera does a smoothing feature, but if I get up close, you can see like where I have bumps and where I don't. Um, my skin is clearing up so well since I've been eating right and working out and sweating, get those toxins out. So I've given, I'm giving myself six months and I'm excited to see like what I can actually look like. So some tips I have to stay motivated because that was my worst part, like stay consistent, stay motivated. Like have, make like a vision board or like on your phone have pictures of like body goals. I, what I like to do is I follow a lot of women who have like really nice bodies, women who work out, women who have workout regimens on their Instagrams and stuff. I follow that so when I'm scrolling that's all I see so that's my mentality. On my phone I have like inspirational quotes. So this one says in two weeks you'll feel it, in four weeks you'll see it, in eight weeks you'll hear it. So I have that on my my home yeah my home screen and on my lock screen I have a picture. This is Jazz Jackson. She actually is a YouTuber and a blogger. She had went on a, a weight loss journey and she looks so good and she inspires me. Like follow people who inspire you, post things that inspire you, you know. Do your research about different things. Try different things. It, keep it spicy. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Like, you know, keep the spark. So you, you know, want to do different things so you can stay motivated. I don't know. That's what I have to do. I have to constantly, I have to constantly stay on it because if not, them dump that Krispy Kreme down the street, honey. I think about it every day, but I have to get on Instagram or I have to just look at my phone real quick and I'm like, no, Christmas cream ain't gonna get me where I need to be in six months. No, that's where I am so far. Thank you guys for all of the positivity and all of the compliments and love on my new change. So it feels good. like. Once you start seeing those results, then that's when you can actually say like, okay, I'm going to the gym. Like that's when you want to go to the gym. That's when you want to go run or do whatever you do. That's when you want to eat right. That's all I have for this video. It's gonna be kind of long, sorry guys, but <laughs> I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.